Uh, as I think of, of Peggy, I think of even the, the Plus Ultra Award, which she and Dan receive. Um, I, I think that celebrates how both of them had a lifetime of, of leading beyond, uh, leading beyond to excellence. Uh, whatever the challenges life threw at them, and, and I know there were many, professionally, personally, um, family life, uh, they went beyond those challenges. They had the capacity, the determination, the resilience, uh, the strength of character to go beyond and to lead others beyond as well. Uh, oh my gosh. Well, she was sweet, she was pretty, and she was just a nice person. My name's Margaret McCarthy, and I graduated from Girls Catholic High School in 1950. We have three beautiful children, and we both, we, and a wonderful husband, and we both retired at 85. Margaret and I met uh, basically when we were freshmen, but didn't really, uh, everybody hung around in groups. She had a large group of uh, uh, girlfriends from uh, Girls Catholic, and I had lots of friends from Mona Catholic. And one of the girls in another class said, oh, gee, you should be going to see Dan. He plays hockey, and he's been scoring like crazy. And so I said, Oh, where's he playing hockey? And she said, in Boston. And he goes with her brother in the morning. They go into practice and whatnot. And uh, I said, oh, I might think about that. So we went into, I guess I went with a couple of friends in to see Mom and Catholic play one of their games. And sure enough, Dan had a spectacular night, scored around three goals, and kind of was like the hero of the evening. But anyways, I was so proud of him. It was just wonderful. And then, of course, I said, well, I'm going to start really dating this hockey star. And we did. We started dating and enjoyed all of girls' Catholics' dances and whatnot. We were, we were very equal. We dated steadily and um, exclusively during that period of time and continued dating through Dartmouth. And we were married uh, my, uh, when we finished my senior year. Margaret already had graduated in nursing and had been working for a year. So we had enough money to get married. <laughs> I just enjoy Girls Catholic because I, it seemed like they treated everyone pretty equally. And if you were having a tough time, there was always someone there to help you. And that was one of the things that I can remember because my mother died, well, my father had died when I was in the sixth grade and my mother died when I was a sophomore in high school. So I, I know I needed some counseling during that time period when she died. So it was, it was stressful but I always had someone to lean on, and that was Dan. My mom is a hero because I watched her battle cancer about 22 years ago. And I think that's led to the success in my battle, watching her do it so valiantly and advocating for herself and just doing what had to be done. When I was about 50, I went back to school at Emanuel College to get my degree in um, nursing administration. My mother went back and got her second degree. Well, I was in high school. We graduated the same week. She graduated from Emanuel at the same time I graduated from Hamilton Wenham. So we had a lot to celebrate that week. When I think about Peggy and, and her characteristics, uh, as a mother, as a, as a nurse, as a businesswoman, uh, her leadership skills and, and uh, her character, I really have to talk about her in the same way I would talk about my own mother. Um, and uh, I, th I think that strength of character, of, of leadership, of, of resilience carried through from uh, as being mothers, as wives, uh, and as professionals. Use the word mentor to describe my mother just because of the way she lives and um, because of her successful career. She did real estate for a long time, which inspired me to do mortgages very early on. I was in high school. All my friends used to want to rent out my mother because she was always so assertive. If a store or a company or something 
did her wrong, she would call them up and get it rectified. And people used to say all the time, I wish I could be like that. Can we borrow your mother? I wanted to succeed. I wanted to do well. Uh, Molina Catholic instills that in you, or at least it certainly did for me. Well, Dan was the inspiration for the generation of us that came behind him. Um, my father, who never went to college, uh, was a huge fan of Dan. I think his, his impetus to make sure we all went to college and all got educated was watching Dan as he went through his career at Malden Catholic, Dartmouth, and then in the military. So I think um, Dan and my father had very much of a mutual admiration society. I went on to the Navy, and after the Navy, I went to Harvard, Harvard Business School and got my DBA at Harvard Business School in 1963. So that's kind of the synopsis of the educational background. My parents then went to college, so I had no role models. They were my role models, and they uh, fulfilled that perfectly for me. And that made me want to do the things like that uh, as I went on in my career otherwise. Yeah, so I think Dan is an extraordinary leader and uh, the work that he did in being our lead director as an example here at our company uh, was one of the reasons why this company has been so successful. Uh, truly his leadership of the board along with many of the committees that he was involved with through his 30 years here, uh, he was known as you know sort of the top guy that made it happen here. When I think of Dan's high achievement, the first thing that comes to mind is his impact on Northeastern. I believe that the business school, otherwise known as the DeMille McKim School of Business, which Alan and I did, mainly inspired by Dan, um, is what it is today because of Dan's drive and Dan's influence. And uh, I'm very, very proud to have watched that happen. And I met him when my partner and good friend, Rich Damore, asked if I would mind being a guest lecturer in Dan's high-tech MBA program. So Dan and I share a passion for entrepreneurship. And over the years, we both determined that we would like to make some form of a gift in the area of entrepreneurship for Northeastern. Uh, we have matched literally hundreds of ventures with mentors. And a true mark of success is when those ventures then get funded by institutional investors. And there's been dozens and dozens of these companies have gotten themselves funded. And so the mentoring network has been a big success. Yeah. The three adjectives that I would describe Dan would be high energy, tremendous amount of enthusiasm, and the most in, highest integrity that you could ever find in a human being. Most people would have gone to the gym a day or two a week or run a mile to it here or there. Um, Dan, of course, decided he needed to become an, an extreme marathoner, and I believe he won his age division at least once within Boston. Can't remember the number of times he, he ran Boston, though, but uh, everything he does, he does to the extreme. Dan says what he thinks, and he means what he says, and he doesn't vary. He has his core values, and he sticks to his core values. If it weren't for Dan's influence, I probably would have never gotten to go to college in the first place. Uh, but once I got to Northeastern and I saw how well Dan was respected here, I felt real pressure to sort of deliver and accomplish something. And uh, I really think I can credit that motivation for, very, very, for a lot of my success in life. Dan is very loyal to the institutions that he's had an active role in. Malden Catholic and Northeastern University. We've been fortunate here at Northeastern to have some recent MC alums who participated and played in our hockey program. Brendan Collier, Matt Philippe, Austin Goldstein. Tremendous young men who achieved success here academically and athletic during the four years. Dan would always follow their success here at Northeastern. He was always ping me with emails, asking me how the boys were doing, or if they had a good game, just letting me know through an email, hey, the MC boys did well. His loyalty and dedication to Northeastern is second to none. Dan understood what it meant to be committed to an institution. He did everything possible to make not just the business school better, 
but Northeastern University better. Northeastern is fortunate to have had Dan McCarthy be part of its institution for the last 52 years. Malden Catholic has always been very special to our family, but I can't tell you how happy we are that Girls Catholic has been reinvigorated. I know that's very, very important to Dan's sisters, and I know it's very, very important to my own sisters because I know that their education here meant the world to them. I, I always thought strategically, but um, most people will tell you that uh, Eisenhower is famous as having said, uh, plans are made to be broken, but planning is essential. But speaking of Mormon Catholic, uh, Margaret and I, both with our ties to the Girls Catholic High and Mormon Catholic, uh, decided we wanted to do something a while ago, <clears throat> particularly for her niece, her cousin at that time, named Margaret Dunphy, who had uh, not been recognized in many ways throughout her whole life and who died relatively young. We were able to uh, help out some more, so we established the scholarships in my name and Margaret's name. And uh, speaking for myself, uh, it really has to start at high school and to give students a chance to have the modern Catholic education was what Margaret and I talked about and what we wanted to see, uh, but we wanted to be able to help with. It's so important to give people who don't have the means a chance to get their high school and college uh, educations. My parents could not have afforded anything.